Hi, this is Kathy from the White Pigeon Library. We've got new books. We've got The Age of Magical Overthinking. This is by Amanda Montel, and she has been described as deeply original, enlightening, and empathetic as a, empathetic as a writer. And she's writing about the idea of magical thinking where you can manifest your way out of poverty and your inner thoughts affect world events that unrelated and um in the book she maybe looks at it and thinks maybe that's gone just a little too far uh to the point of being ridiculous and i like her chapter headings are really good um i swear i manifested this nostalgia porn are you my mother taylor swift so apparently she's um in a witty, hopeful way, trying to, you know, poke fun at how tuned in we are without being very connected to people personally. It sounds like it's really going to be good. I'm going to read it. We've got a Ruth Ware book, One Perfect Couple, and it's about a new reality show. It's a mystery, and these couples are whisked away into some kind of tropical paradise, and then, of course, it all goes wrong, kind of like in an Agatha Christie book, and there's a storm, and they're cut off from the world, and people start dying. Sounds like it might be fun. We've got Such a Bad Influence, Olivia Munter, and it's about a woman who is in a family who is really into having everything be online, and she has avoided that. And unfortunately, her career in life has basically stalled while her younger sister started online at age five with some sort of um, video that went viral of a father-daughter dance. And since then, she has just been online the entire, she's grown up online. And um, every bit of her life is you know, filmed. Well, the little sister is no longer little, she's 18, and she disappears midstream. She's live streaming something and she just completely mis disappears. And nobody can find her, there's all kinds of speculation as to what might have happened to her, and she needs to find out what might have happened. Olivia Munter, and it's a first book, so she had to try harder to get it published. Be good. We've got Southern Man by Greg Isles. And this is a pen cage um, series. This is number seven. So it, after, if you remember Natchez Burning, that was a trilogy, and this is pen cage, he was in that. This is 15 years after that, and he's alone. Most of the people he knows have died, and um, he's just kind of exiled. And then all of a sudden, there's some sort of festival in which his daughter is almost killed. It's a mass shooting. And it talks about the 2024 election and about a third party, just an independent third party candidate that comes out of nowhere and looks like he's basically, um, at first, maybe trying to um, bring the two sides of the country together, and then it looks like his motives might be a little more um, evil. So, I, Pen Cage tries to get in and figure out what's going on. Very big book. So, if you liked the previous Pen Cage books, it looks like this one might be pretty good. That's what we've got. We'll see you next week.